Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the new Craft, Craft 2.0, Craft X, because it's pretty cool. Uh, and while I'm not a day-to-day -day user of my own uh, of Craft for my own notes, I do use it in collaboration with my wife to look at home projects, to decide on what we're going to do, decide on the pricing, price it all out, and then we will actually just execute the home project from there once we are ready. Before we dive in, a few ways you can support the channel. You can become a member, curtisofkale.ca slash membership, or you can take one of my courses, curtisofkale.ca slash education. You're probably most interested in like my note-taking course, getting started with Zettelkasten. So buckle up, let's look at what Craft X gives us. So this is the new Craft X, Craft, kind of Craft 2.0. Unfortunately, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about today is only available on the desktop or the web version, not available in the iOS versions, which I kind of, I'm not happy about that. I actually left Obsidian originally because it wasn't going to have good mobile support. Um, I assume Craft will, but I have a question out uh, you know, a few hours ago to the developers and still have not heard that there's any ETA for Craft uh, X on mobile. So I'm recording quite early because I move in a few weeks. This is only December 6th. You will see this like around Christmas time. So it's totally possible this has changed. Please check it out. I will try to update the description if I haven't, uh, if I've heard anything new since recording this video. So CraftX, it is the future development platform for Craft. It is a full like plugins and everything, plugin architecture API for Craft, which is going to enable it to do so much more than the developers could ever keep up with on their own because people can build their own integrations into Craft uh, on their own then, which is excellent. Now, if you've updated your desktop app to Craft 2.0, then you can go to settings, command comma, and you can go to advanced, and then you can just turn on enable extensions developer preview and now you are and what you'll see show up first actually is this little menu over here this little blue one and you have menus so i already have some of these things installed clearly um like send to apps so something i could do right in here is i could highlight or i could pick two all right send to apps and i can choose things and i'll have to enable my url scheme here because i don't have that done and I should have five, and stillness is the key. Those are two books that I could add to a reading list now. It's that simple to set those up, to have that done. I clearly had just enabled the Things 3.1 for the first time. So I tried some of the other ones, but that works really well. I like that. So to install Craft, the thing you need to do is come to the announcement post right here, or to install their extensions. Um, I can never pronounce this. There'll be a link in the show notes here. I can click on Hacker News as one. I have the other ones installed already. Download my craft file. Perfect. So it's a craft X extension. Come back here, hit the plus icon, Hacker News Top 10 Craft X, open. I'm gonna install it. And now I have Hacker News Top 10. So I could add this to this note here, the top 10 Hacker News stories. So show WebAssembly back again, right? And you can insert stories. So now I've inserted the top 10 hacker news stories to my content. And that's that easy, easy to install them, I guess. Um, I would love to see a little bit more. So if you hit plus, there's actually like an extension store library so that you can dig into it. I could see um, my wife, who I use craft with, having a hard time installing extensions. I will have to go do this for her. She will not be able to do that, which is probably okay for now since this is a developer preview, but it is something that they do need to resolve uh, for wider use for everyone else. Now, long-term, if you want more craft extensions, you want to follow the development, then the best thing to do is to go to the craft developer forum. See the link here, link in the show notes as well. Um, there's a few interesting ones in here already. So there's a Readwise one. Uh, I haven't had a chance to install this, um, but I know TFT Hacker is a you know, a well-known person in the craft community. So I would trust it to start uh, to do that. We're going to have to probably go to GitHub and then compile. Is there a release already? There are no releases already. No, there's a release right here. Yep. So we click releases and then we would just download our craft file right here. Right click download. So then we would actually have this file to install and install the Readwise one on our system on our craft setup. That's really all we have for craft right now. Um, the biggest issue is that we don't have mobile support. So again, I have no ETA on that coming, but it's really exciting. I am really excited for craft for what it can do with the extensions for the API. I've kind of looked at a few myself, maybe one to publish to WordPress because there's some to publish to Medium and Ghost, but I don't use those. I use WordPress. So that'd be interesting to see what it does there. 
Um, clearly there's going to be some time for the API to build out. It's going to take some more features to come into it, but it's, that's really cool. Like if you're a craft user, I think you should be very excited about this. I'm not even a full-time craft user. I use it kind of on the side with my wife and I am very excited about what this could mean for craft and for its usability long-term. Anyway, if you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Otherwise, you know, just have a good day. You can support the channel by becoming a member, taking a course. That stuff I already said at the beginning. Ciao.